Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Referral Exchange Networking's Business Success Fertilizer Application. It isn't always easy to compete with the companies that are bigger than you and have greater resources. However, there is one advantage that you have that they can't match. You can always be smarter than they are. No one can tell you how much you can learn and how much of an expert and an asset you can become. That's why education is critical for small businesses. And that's why we at Referral Exchange Networking strive to make you just a little smarter every week. And so let's get right to it. I've been reading a book by Robert Drake titled The Code of Trust. Robin was an American counterintelligence agent with the FBI. And a large part of his job was to develop sources and to disrupt internal and external spy rings. The key to doing this was to get the resources to trust him, not in a underhanded, sneaky sort of way, but to develop trust that he was who he said he was and that he was truly working for the best interests of his country. As a result of years of experience, Robin developed a method for creating trust that not only vaulted the FBI skills and success at counter espionage, but that he had subsequently taught to other federal and state agencies, as well as countless business owners and other professionals. Just as with the FBI, trust is the most important tool in business. As we've all agreed many times, business success is all about relationships. And guess what? All true and lasting relationships are built on a foundation of trust. Without it, the bond or the connection you thought you had is going to crumble at the first sign of trouble. Now, Robin's five tenets included in the code of trust are, number one, suspend your ego. Number two, be non-judgmental. Number three, validate others. Number four, honor reason. And number five, be generous. Now, I would be doing the author a grave injustice if I attempted to cover all five of these in just a few minutes. So I thought we could look at the first one, suspending our ego. Ego is a good thing in the right amount. A healthy ego provides a sense of security, certainty, and comfort. And what I find very interesting it reveals to us an idealized version of ourselves. A balanced sense of ego can be our greatest strength, but an unbalanced sense of ego can be the thing that sabotages our success. As explained by the author, sublimation of ego gives you the power to steer clear of conflict, to stay focused, to move forward, win friends and influence people. Suspending your ego is the single most important element of being trustworthy and enlisting others in the pursuit of your goal. It's the central action that animates the four other rules of the code of trust. Robin goes on to say that ego suspension gives you the freedom to laser in on your ultimate goal without needing to convince everybody that you're always right about everything. It makes it easy for you to align your goals with those of others and thereby makes the goals that you're trying to reach part of their own set of goals. Instead of insisting on your goal, your way, your need, Robin is saying that we need to find out what the other person's goal is and align our goal with theirs. This is just another way of seeing things from other people's point of view. Other people don't have to lose for you to win. I love that. It's an axiom that the author always keeps in mind. Winning a discussion, but losing the sale is not a smart way to do business. Your client may want a better product, a, a better service, or a better way to solve a problem. Again, guess what? So do you. In business, it boils down to it's not about you. 
as expressed by Dan Post, an egotist is a man who thinks that if he hadn't been born, people would have wondered why. I love that. Okay, well, that's it for this week. I hope you get, I hope you got something out of it. If you'd like to talk about anything you just heard, or you'd like to know about how you can grow your business by becoming a referral exchange networking member, or even forming your own chapter, reach out to me at referralexchangenetworking.com. That's exchange with an X. And if you'd like to be notified whenever we post another educational video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of this video. All right, well, that's it for this week. Oh, by the way, in case you're interested, I'm recording this week in Thompson, Connecticut, where it has done nothing but rain for the last several days. So here's hoping for good weather, and I hope everyone stays safe. Thanks a lot. We'll talk again next week. Bye-bye.